I want to take a couple minutes and talk to you about a feature in GibbsCam that not a lot of people know about and it's really helpful for organizing your operations. I'm going to use this part here to show it. It's called the Operations Manager. The Operations Manager is available, this is a Milturn part, but it's also available in all modules of GibbsCam, so you have it available to you. So if you look here, there's a lot of operation. If, I'm to, if I right click on the very top, I have this thing Operations Manager, but I wanted to show you this Find first. I'm going to hit Find, and I can say Find the last tile. It's going to go all the way down to the bottom. So we can see that there's actually 65 tiles here. Or we can go by tile number or tool number. And I'm going to say let's go back up to tile number one. So that's a good fast way to go up and down your tree here. So I'm going to show you this operation manager. You can get to it from right clicking on the arrow. Or you can actually right click anywhere in this tree and come down here to operation manager. So this is what the operation manager looks like. It's a spreadsheet of all the data about each one of these operations. Uh, there's a lot of data here. <laughs> so um, it just, you know, when it pulls up, you're not able to edit any of it. The reason that is, is any edit that's made inside of this operation manager, it happens downstream from the actual process. So what that means is if I double click and open up this process, say for operation number three, this is the data when I hit process this it's going to be 7000 RPM it's going to do all of its gives cam magic and come over here and create a tool path if I change it over here it's not going to change this original process that could be an issue so we highly recommend leaving this any changes that need to be made should be made in the process not using the operations manager that being said, if you really want to roll the dice and live dangerously, you can come up here and allow editing for process or data fields. Again, we don't recommend it, but if you need to do mass uh, changes and you don't feel like opening up each one of these, you can do that in your operations manager. So let's talk about this data that's in here. You can see that there's all kinds of stuff, max RPMs, speeds. Uh, work group, flow group, there's an operation comment tab. How do we sift through this stuff to get what we need? I'm going to right mouse button click up here in any of these title bars and it says customize header. So here you can see here's all of the options that we have available. So I can actually just come through here and sift through it and say okay these are the ones I want, these are the ones I don't. Let's say I want to keep everything from I don't know, we'll say from lock down. So let me find lock, here it is. So I'm just going to hit remove, I'm just going to keep hitting remove. And actually as I do this you can see that when I highlight something it actually shows me a little description of what it means. X stock, stock left perpendicular to the axis of rotation, obviously maximum RPMs, things like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and just cl keep clicking remove until I get to the end of this. There we go. And I'm going to click OK, and you can see that now these are what I have available to me. So this is great. What do I do with it? Actually, if you right mouse button click up in the title bar, you can actually print this out and hand this to your operator or manufacturing engineer and show them, you know, what your Z step is going to be, what your depth is going to be, what your feed is going to be, things like that. This is a really good way to take a really good look at the overall picture of what your program is going to look like. If you have any questions about the operation manager or managing your operations tree, just go ahead and give your local reseller a call or feel free to call Gibbs Technical Support. Thank you so much for watching.